Ο Γιώργος Κουγιουμτσίδης με επική ανατροπή που μόνο οι κορυφαίοι αθλητές των κόσμων μπορούν να πραγματοποιήσουν κατάφερε να πανηγυρίσει μια απίστευτη πρόκριση στον τελικό του Ευρωπαϊκού Πρωταθλήματος. Το φαινόμενο της ελληνικής πάλης επιβεβαίωσε με τον πλέον χαρακτηριστικό τρόπο το προσωνυμιό του καθώς βρέθηκε να χάνει με 12, όμως με απόλυτη ψυχραιμία και πίστη στις δυνατότητές του έκανε την ολική επαναφορά και στο τέλος χαμογέλασε. Το πρώτο μέρο του ημιτελικού με τον Αρμάνα Βαγκιάν εξελίχθηκε σε έναν αγώνα με τακτική και τον Αρμένιο να προηγείται με 2-0. Ο Αβαγκιάν διεύρυνε το προβάδισμά του σε 6-0 και στη φάση που ξύπνησε τον πρωταθλητή Ευρώπη, ο Αρμένιο πήρε 4 πόντου. Με το 10-0 περασμένο στο ταμπλό και challenge από την ελληνική πλευρά, ο Κουγιουμτσίδη έμεινε ζωντανό και μείωσε σε 12. Σε αυτό το σημείο ο Έλληνας πρωταθλητής μεταμορφώθηκε και με τον χρόνο να πιέζει ασφικτικά άρχισε να μειώνει. Το φαινόμενο σταμάτησε την επίθεσή του μόνο όταν έφτασε στην ολική επαναφορά όπου προηγήθηκε 12-10 σε ένα μοναδικό ρεσιτάλ επιθετικής πάλης. Με αυτή την νίκη ο Γιώργος Κουγιουμτσίδης πήρε και μια άτυπη ρεβάνς για νοχαμένο μικρό τελικό το παγκόσμιο Under 23. Ο Κουγουμτσίδης κατάφερε με χιτσκοκικό σενάριο να προκριθεί στον μεγάλο τελικό των 79 κιλών της ελευθέρας πάλης και την τρίτη θα αγωνιστεί για να υπερασπιστεί τον τίτλο του πρωταθλητή Ευρώπης απέναντι στον Ουκρανό Βασίλ Μιχάηλοφ. Νωρίτερα το φαινόμενο απέκλεισε αρχικά τον Ισπανο και στη συνέχεια τον Μάγκο Μέντοφ από την Βόρεια Μακεδονία για να μπει στη ζώνη των μεταλλίων. Δείτε εδώ πώς κατάφερε αυτή την επική ανατροπή. Been a bundle of offense at these continental championships the last couple of years whether it's the u23 of the senior level a rare zero up on the board after three minutes you don't see that very often with him in this position that's why the ta tactics are so important in this in this spot yeah beautiful little elbow slide by the and worked his way behind here we see him What I said before, like he's made out of rubber, that left hand deep in. Just couldn't get behind. Second period underway. Avang in with a 2-0 lead. Oh, oh look beautiful at that. ankle shot. Big ankle pick. No points. Now he's going to bunker down on the left leg. Look for that trip. Then and he takes him down two for points, two. Uh, very slick work. Beautifully done by Avanyan, who goes up 4-0. Got him on the ankle shot as he was stepping in. From here, he needs to drop his head under and try and roll through. You see his head's on the back. That makes it very... There we go. He's got the roll. That's another two points. He needs to try and get his head a little bit lower. If your head's on the back, it's a little bit more difficult. And just like that, 6-0. Uji Omitsidis, Greece, the defending champion in some trouble down six, now trying to thrust them over. No points awarded, and now the two. Referee we'll signal for four for the Greek. Let's see how they settle this. I thought it should have been four, mm -hmm. and that's going to be it. There's going to be a challenge there. As you described, George, with that, the four we both thought, but the quick two by Uji Omitsidis. That's so why he stays alive. He stays alive, stays in it. That's why in these situations it's very important to keep wrestling. Don't just stop. Try and work your way out of there. If you can get behind, you get the escape. It's two points. But an eight-point lead for Ovanyan, who's looking defensively very solid today. of Kirimacidis can get out of there. He steps over. He's going to try and get that back exposure for the two points. That's two points. There we go. Referee will stand them up. Wanting to see a little bit more action. 
with two on the takedown. Still lots of time. One minute left. A lot can happen. Cities. Kujio Mid Cities needs to put that pressure. Needs to keep attacking. Working his hands. That high crotch has been successful for him. He can't stay tied up there. Got to create a little bit of distance to go. Right arm collar tie for Kujio Mid Cities. Now switches to a right side under driving. Avanya nice near the edge. Troll by there from that right hand underhook straight to the hip for the two points. He'll wait. He'll ask the referee to stand them up, please. Yeah, he did not want to mess around from the top position. Wanted the whistle. Gets a verbal warning for wanting the whistle. And 38 seconds to go. 10-6. He knows he's got more of a chance from the feet to score those points. 30 seconds left. He's got to keep moving. He's got to keep attacking. Try and open him up a little more. There you go. He cuts the corner. He's going to take two here. Beautiful work. Swallows up the gut. Tries to get a turn. He's got the trap arm here. Maybe he can roll him. There we go. That's two points. Let's go again. Another two points. And just like that, 12-10. Down 10-2. He was a challenge away from losing to technical superiority. He has rattled off 12 unanswered in a span of two minutes. Unbelievable change of events here in the semifinal. Avanyan can't believe it. Incredible wrestling, incredible offensive wrestling. Didn't give up. Kujio Mitsidis battles back and wins. What a comeback. And the legend of these Continental Championships just keeps growing for this young star. He was dead to right. That's it. They never give up. You know, and you brought up a good point. It all started with not giving up on that four-pointer to have the whereabouts to get the two to keep the match going. That's it. A lot of people that he would have given that four away, the match would have been over. Look how that shifted directly after this. This is this thing with this wrestling now with the new rule changes. It's so fast paced. If you can get behind two times, it, t it takes it from 10-2 to 10-6. You're in a closed, close proximity to getting those 10-10. And just like you saw, he kept pushing, he kept pushing. Mentally and physically, Broke Avanyan here. Well, you have to feel for Armand or Avanyan. He was so 